One cool thing you can do with shapes is you can segment and fill them. Let me show you this by first drawing a pentagon. Now this does have to be a 2D shape. And when you let go, you'll notice a menu appears on the right. This is the adorning menu and it lets me manipulate the object. In the fifth row, you'll see a hexagon icon. This is the segment button. And when I click on it, you'll notice it segments my pentagon into five pieces. Let's draw another shape to show you this again. So we'll go back to our shape menu. Let's choose an octagon this time. And same thing in the adorning menu, click the segment button and it will segment into eight pieces because it's an octagon. Now this does change, however, if we draw a circle. So let's go ahead and draw a circle. And this time when we choose the segment button, you're gonna notice that a menu appears from two to 12. This lets you choose the number of pieces you wanna segment your circle into. Let's go ahead and we'll pick five. This is going to segment my shape into fifths. And each of these shapes becomes its own independent object. And I can move them if I choose the select tool from the main toolbar. Remember that's the green arrow icon. And then if I click and drag on one of the pieces, it will actually move and become its own independent piece. I can even click on this object and the adorning menu will appear, allowing me to manipulate this individual piece. So let's go ahead and click on it. And so if I wanted to shade this piece in to show one fifth, I could by clicking on that paint bucket icon in the fourth row. Now that can be kind of time consuming if you click each object and the paint bucket. So let's find a way to do it a little faster. Go to your shape menu and at the very bottom, you're going to see a paint bucket icon. This is the fill tool and it just lets you quickly fill a shape over and over and over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to select blue and then we'll choose the paint bucket. And now if I click on that piece, you'll see it just fills it in as blue. So this is showing one fifth. If I wanna show four fifths, we can just undo this here. And then I can quickly click on the other four pieces and you'll see it fills them very quickly. Now, if I wanna move all these pieces together instead of independently, let's go ahead and put this piece back. What I wanna do is use my select tool and I'm actually just gonna drag a circle around all the pieces. You'll see this dotted line appears here, and this lets me select all five pieces together. Now when I click and drag, they'll all move together. If I wanna move one piece again, all I have to do is click on the canvas and then move a one individual piece just by clicking and dragging. 